We are in our cabin and it's just past all aboard, which was two o'clock. We're in Texas waters and they have some unique rules regarding alcohol. The state in general doesn't allow any kind of unlimited drinking packages. So for example, you can't go to a restaurant and have unlimited mimosas at brunch. It's just a general thing in Texas. And since we're in the port of Galveston, those rules apply here. And so I've always heard that the beverage packages don't apply until you hit international waters, which is fine because we have chosen not to buy drink packages on this cruise. It doesn't, um, makes sense financially with the price of those packages right now. We went to the pool deck bar and got two drinks when we got on board and the total for that was $36. John got a Long Island iced tea and I got a Bloody Mary and they were, he said $14 each plus the auto grat made it 35 something. I think if you did the math on that and you each drank like five beverages a day, it may add up to equal the price of the drink package, but I personally am not willing to spend $100 per person per day on alcohol. I think that is just too much. So even if the number of drinks added up to the price of the drink package, the way that I've always done that math, I just don't think that it's... The drinks we just got were $35. Yeah, 35 for two drinks. So if we each had five drinks in the we day... do that six times every day. My calculation in the past has always been right. that if you have five or six drinks a day, then it's worth it to buy the drink package. But the price of drinks has gone up so much that it is beyond the amount I'm willing to spend, even if buying five drinks made it cost effective to buy the drink package, if that makes sense. But there are alternate ways, if you like to have a cocktail at dinner or you like to have a glass of wine, um, that you can still have drinks without spending $100 per person per day. I mean, that is, a significant expense when currently cruising doesn't even cost like $50 per person per day. So here is what we're doing for this cruise. We brought our two bottles of wine that we're allowed to bring in our carry-on. So we have Sauvignon Blanc, two different kinds. And there is a hidden thing that you can do. Um, it's actually not in the cruise planner. There is a website, which I'll put here, and what you can do is select either bottles of wine, which are fairly expensive. We did pre-order in the cruise planner, the cheese plate and a white wine and a cheese plate and a red wine. I've noticed that our cabin does not have a refrigerator, so we'll be having a lot of cheese tonight. But each of those cheese plates with a bottle of wine was like $28.99 and it was discounted on the cruise planner to $28.99 from I think $33. But that's a lot less expensive than a single bottle of wine, so you might as well get the cheese with it. There is also chocolate covered strawberries with champagne, and I think that was around $33. You get a full bottle. The other thing you can do on this um, separate website is go to uh, liquor packages. And if you go there, there are a few options. One is gin and tonic package, one is a rum and coke package, and one is a vodka and Sprite package. I think those are the three options. And you get four cans of soda and a 375 milliliter bottle of whichever alcohol. We ordered the gin and tonic package and the rum and coke. So we're gonna have our two bottles of Sauvignon Blanc that we brought on board, a red and a white wine that we ordered with the cheese plates, and then the two 375 milliliter bottles of rum and gin. We'll wanna make our own drinks here in the room. So one thing we brought are Mio's. We had no problem getting these on. We carried them in our carry-ons. And these are little water enhancers. They're sealed, so if they had asked us about it, I mean, we're not doing anything wrong, but we brought three flavors, strawberry kiwi, watermelon lemonade, and lemonade. So all we will do is add a shot, a couple spray spritzes of this, and water, and we have a cocktail. The price of those packages is like 45 to $50, per 375 milliliter, but you can get like eight, what did we calculate? Six or eight drinks out of a 375. So given that we just paid $35 for two drinks, that is a huge savings over what you would spend buying those things individually at the bar. We spent 175 max on alcohol where we would have paid 
I think the total was close to $800 or $900 for the drink package. This way we have plenty to drink. We may even take some of this off the ship. This is a huge savings. I would really recommend that you look into the other options before you go and um, buy a drink package, especially the longer your cruise and the more ports you're stopping in, the less valuable that drink package will be. And you can still enjoy cocktails for way less money.